Well, everything's staying dry. So I'm happy. I'm gonna go take the dogs for a walk. It's been 24 hours with the tanks half full, no leaks. So I can continue working on the rest of the bus. And yeah, start working on building the shower and putting that toilet in back there. Today I moved the mess that was over here over here and I salvaged some scrap wood from a guy building a fence in the neighborhood cedar don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet good and then this I set in with some five minute gorilla glue epoxy it's what I used to fix the tank when they started giving me trouble seems to be working pretty good who knows how long it'll last, but it sure makes a nice strong hold at first. Uh, I took out the piece that used to go up there. That door. Let's see. There used to be a door around there, sitting in there. I took that door out because it used to fall down when I was driving down the road. It's poorly designed. They made the latches up top and the hinge on bottom. That's a stupid idea. And anyways, it rattled apart, so I got rid of it. <coughs> I was going to put a uh, bolt of board up there after I put some nice KC headlights or some off-road LED lights. Put a row of them up there, facing forward. But I think I'm going to leave it. I kind of like having the window, so I'll figure out some type of roll-down blind if I need to close it off. Uh, the problem is from the outside of the bus, it's just kind of an eyesore. So, maybe someday I get it tinted, or I spray the whole inside of that box in there black. I think if I spray the whole inside of this thing black, and then put a nice roll down dark blind, when it's closed, it won't look like anything but a black window. And when it's open, you'll be able to see the boards inside the bus and stuff. But anyways. What else did I do? Yeah, I just kind of went through things, found a bunch of hardware. Um, yeah, nothing too exciting. Getting ready for the shower. So now I gotta put the hot water heater right here and the shower pan down there, start plugging in the toilet. It's hot in here, I'm gonna go park the bus for the night. This is the other thing I did. Remember how I had that goofy screw sticking up right there and I would take this, take this guy that holds the door when I'm driving down the road and set it down on that screw. Well, I put a cleat on the back of it. Whoops. And now, so it's right there. It holds the door shut. And it's out of my way, it frees up a bunch of room. One step at a time.